Protecting birds from windows is most effective when we have laws that guide our construction. And these laws that are designed to protect birds come at three levels. Uh, the national level, federal laws, and uh, they exist as international treaties that both Canada, the United States, Russia, the UK, Japan have all signed. Uh, these laws, however, on a national level, are they're spread their net over the entire country. And their interpretation by the courts is sometimes confusing. So at the regional level, individual states and individual provinces have developed laws to address the same issue, but in the smaller, more restricted location. And finally, we have, we have groups that are taking their cities and this issue into account to guide architects in the development of their designs to make sure that buildings are safe for birds. And this has occurred in the cities of Toronto most, of, most uh, dramatically uh, initially, and Toronto has served as a guidance for cities such as New York and Chicago and San Francisco. In the United States, a promising bill that's been introduced is called the Bird Safe Building Act. It's House of Representative Bill 191. And the intention here, though, is restricted in the sense that it's going to be covering uh, uh, government buildings. So any new building built by the government is supposed to take into account bird safe practices. The hope is that if this passes from a government level, this will uh, stimulate uh, commercial buildings on a voluntary basis to follow the government's design. The Canadian government has offered a grant to the Canadian Standards Association where they have asked them to develop similar guidelines uh, to make sure that buildings are constructed in a responsible, bird-safe way. In this particular standard, our guidance about what needs to be protected, how glass has to be treated, and what most effectively will provide the kind of protection we want for the birds that we seek to save.